Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. We got a lot of info for today's video, so I hope you guys are ready. So we're on day two of the progression on the character. We've been going pretty slow, I'll be honest. We're about 12 hours played, 86, so nice and casual so you guys can follow along. We did get a crap ton of upgrades though today, and I'm going to go through and show them. So before we start, let's go ahead and run a tier 8 map here to show you guys an example of how the character is feeling. I am still on a 4-link, although I could probably acquire a 6-link. We'll talk about that shortly. This map's a little rippy. It's got, like, monster life, monster damage. More importantly, monster damage and multi projects together is kind of spooky, uh, but we should be fine. So to give a recap here, we're at 87 all res. We have ascended and acquired our Uber Lab. Um, we have crafted our first scepter. I will talk about that shortly. Uh, we have also acquired a Fan the Flames Cluster Jewel. Now, I, I chose to go with Fan the Flames instead of Gloves, and the main reason why is if anyone has crafted Gloves with RF Chieftain before, or in general, if you've used Eldritch Currency, you're aware that it's very RNG, meaning, you know, you could get it on your first, or you could spend 100 embers without ever seeing it, right? So I decided to go with Fan the Flames because it's a lot cheaper, and that allows me to get my Ignite Proliferation right away. Uh, an example of what I'm referring to is this here on the tree. Wait, let me think. So earlier in my previous video, you'll know that I talked about going Blight. I know a lot of people are going to ask why I'm not Blight yet. Um, a lot of the newer players, I think, don't fully know yet that your first Atlas, at least in my opinion, the first atlas is more focused on climbing the atlas, right? So by climbing the atlas, I'm applying that, like, your main focus is basically getting your atlas completion. So that would be, like, completing these maps. And typically completing these maps, you want, like, some map drop nodes and or you want some Kirak nodes. And that is actually what this first atlas is, as you'll notice, is taking all map sustain and Kirak with a splash of Betrayal just to get some of my needed unveils. The Betrayal has already came in handy as it has allowed me to craft some of my gear, which, again, we'll show after this map. We're just going to go ahead and clear this so people get a good understanding of the character. Uh, as for numbers, remember, I will link the POB of the exact character down below. Since we're still on a 4-link right now, our RF is only 88k, and our Fire Trap is currently sitting at 152k. I definitely want to push into clusters sooner than normal just because you know in trade league you have the ability to purchase a lot of things right in ssf i'd have to farm my clusters in trade league we're allowed to buy the clusters we just have to craft them ourselves this is actually the only issue i have now is i need jewels but if i have to craft my jewels the jewels are very expensive to craft especially considering i could get some monstrous upgrades for you know five to ten c so jewels i'm gonna have to put in quite a bit so i'll have to figure out what we're doing there all right, so let's go ahead and talk about the character. Now, before we really do anything, I just do apologize. We're on display capture there. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the stuff we did yesterday. Actually, now we're on display capture. We're good. So yesterday, we purchased ourselves a pyre ring. Sorry, the screenshot looks a little scuffed, but it's hard to screenshot the whole window here. We got a pyre for 1C, and then I kind of dropped it. I just mainly use it in the campaign. We got an immortal flesh here. This is the same immortal flesh I'm using. It's also a 1C purchase. Remember, we're allowed to purchase unique items. We just have to craft all of our rare items. We also purchased a scepter here. There is a fractured implicit for 30% fire damage. Now, 30% fire damage is interesting because fire damage can be a prefix or a suffix. And since I did not really advertise fire damage, I primarily advertised dot multi. Guess what? These are really cheap. So I snagged my first scepter for 8C. Now, the only problem is um, with this scepter here, um, I actually tried to buy it off a person, and then I tried to take the screenshot, but I pressed my uh, I pressed my hideout macro, so the hideout macro overrode the screenshot with slash hideout, so I actually had to give the scepter to my friend and mimic as if I was buying it, because you'll see this guy in my Discord, so I just wanted to, to clarify that. You can actually see me purchasing it if you need to go verify in the VOD. <laughs> Uh, and then over here, we purchased a uh, four passive burning jewel for a 5C. I don't care about the smoking remains. We are rolling it for uh, fan the flames. And now this this one here, we got as close to item level 70 as possible. Uh, it's item level, or sorry, 68. So this is 70. And the reason why is fan the flames is item level 68. So here's an example of the 
craft on the jewel we purchased. So we're going to scour this. And our goal is to hit Fan the Flames. So okay, I got Fan the Flames. Normally, you don't get it on the first alteration. But, you know, sometimes it is what it is. And you guys wanted to see all the clips of the crafting. So that's basically what happened i mean shit may as well regal it i mean what i mean what's the harm we actually got chaos, chaos res, res which is crazy because that means it's double suffix which means if i exalt it i could get another actual uh notable on a prefix uh, and then here is the scepter craft essentially we with the scepter craft i purchased deafening essence uh, uh the deafening minion essence there are 1.5 chaos each at Faustus exchange so that means I bought two of them for three chaos, which is nothing. So the base was 8C for the weapon. The uh, deafening essence was 3C, so that's 11 and chaos. we want to have no suffix. So we're looking for basically a suffix open. So that has a suffix open. So now we crafted our first scepter. Now this here is the power of betrayal. Betrayal is what already unveiled me, the fire damage over time multiplier. We now have a scepter with 40 Ellie, 30 fire, 90 minion, 18 fire multi. This scepter took us a total of, I don't know, 10 C. It was like 15, 15. or something. It was very, very, very cheap. So that's pretty much that. Now people are going to ask, well, how do you make money if you haven't set up your Atlas yet? Very good point. Let's explain. So here is how I made my initial currency, which kind of started to snowball everything. So step one, I go to Kirak. Step two, I spend eight chaos for 20 chisels. Remember that, eight chaos for 20 chisels. I then come over to the currency exchange and say, I want to sell chisels. Okay, I'm going to put 20. Oops, and I want chaos. We're going to swap it. And that's already a 16 to 20, which means if I click this right now, I profit eight chaos. I could get more for this, but just a nice example. You can see there, that's 16. So now I just turn 8C into 16. I only had to spend a little bit of gold. So you can see here that we've done this quite a bit with the chisels, right? And I also got lucky. I dropped a Harbinger Scarab of Warhords that sold for 10C. And then the Ambush Scarab of Discernment that sold for 20C. A few little trades here and there, but those are definitely the big ones. And the chisels is definitely how we got started. I also sold some stacked decks to get that initial currency going. And I would say from here where I'm at with my character right now, I think I want to get a six link cloak of flame. I think that's going to be our first primary big currency sink. There's a lot of other gear I can get, don't get me wrong, but cloak of flame will give me the much needed physical damage reduction, a plethora of life regen, the ignite duration, um, and then in general, it's, it's a body armor I don't have to worry about for a long ass time. I would say it would be worth it for me to just get a new body armor for 10C and craft it, but the thing is, is since I'm not allowed to sell anything, I'm, I'm a little bit more picky about what I purchase because there is no flipping. You know, I can't buy an Elder Helm, craft it, and then sell it to someone and then buy another Elder Helm to work on. So crafting is a little bit, I'd say, a lot more expensive right now. So we have to be a little smart about how we do it, right? That's pretty much where we're going to go. I want to go ahead and get a Cloak of Flame, and then we're going to pivot into like Cloak of Flame, Elder Helm. I need to craft boots. I need to craft gloves. At some point, we want to craft ourselves new rings. Most of these rings were literally just picked up off the floor. Actually, they were literally picked up off the floor since I can't trade. So yeah, <laughs> so yeah literally. Uh, I would like to get a Fractured Amulet so I could try crafting for Dot Multi or Plus One Gems. Um, shield, I'd like to replace with, at this stage... I mean, Rise of the Phoenix is still okay because we're 87 max res, so Rise would put us to 90 all. Dawnbreaker is good for fizz mitigation. Svalin is a very nice shield. I would actually pivot into Svalin version. The problem is I need more jewels for max fire res because I dropped this part at Svalin, and I don't know if it's really worth it for me to be using like three or four jewels with max fire res and basically nothing else right this is the limitation of crafting i'm just kind of speaking out loud for you guys so you have an idea of what is going on anyway that's pretty much about it uh, everything's been pretty good i know people ask about death i actually died to mervale in act one i don't really want to talk about it but other than that everything has pretty much been solid so hope you guys have a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves we'll probably be working on the blight atlas today on stream we probably won't be putting delirium and beyond yet we need to focus on an atlas we can handle and then we'll start cranking up the difficulty as we go 
But for now, I'm out. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Um, sorry the editing is a bit scuffed because there's literally no editing. I'm kind of doing my best here for pumping out daily videos. So catch you guys all later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you guys all on the live stream at twitch.tv slash box. Take care, everybody.